In this video, let's have a look at the concept of stationary time series and we'll do it based on an example and we'll see why this is why, why this is relevant for the time series regression model. So first of all, let's have a look here graphically at, uh, at an example of sales across time. So the green line shows the evolution of sales across time. What does it mean to be stationary? It means that the value of the dependent variable, in this case it would be sales, would fluctuate around an average value. So let's say that average value is gonna be somewhere over here, let's call that S bar. So for instance, we're having our fashion shop that sells jeans, and let's say we, we sell $10,000 worth of jeans per time, per unit of time, let's call it quarter for the sake of the example, that would be our average so that the values that we have across time, uh, the second quarter, the third quarter, the fourth one and so on is gonna fluctuate around that. Sometimes it's gonna be higher than 10K over here, sometimes it's going lower. But on average in the long run, it's always around the same average value. That's the intuition. Now, why is this important? Suppose we want to have a relationship which we build with our regression line, so a linear relationship between an independent variable of inventory across time that's gonna affect the outcome variable of the sales of genes across time. Now to build this relationship, one assumption of the time series regression model is to have stationarity. And the stationarity, stationarity happens in three ways. It has to be stationary around the mean value. So stationary in mean, stationary in mean, let's write like that, stationary in mean. So what this is, is the graph that we just showed it has to evolve around a certain value. And that's just not for the outcome variable. The independent variable has to be stationary around the mean as well. And we'll show it in the future videos. We're actually gonna prove these requirements for how we can have stationarity and why we have to have it. Now, the second assumption is to have stationarity invariance. So that's basically the homoscedasticity assumption, stationary invariance, meaning that the variance has to be constant around time. And the last one would be stationary incovariance. So the last criteria is gonna be stationary in covariance, stationary in covariance. Now, these are the three requirements to build a stationary time series regression model. In the future videos, we're gonna go through each of them.